Okay, Liz, I know you're working. Hello, Michelle. Good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you? How are you, Michelle? Fine. Great. What? Yes. For today? I'm great. Yes, for today? Good. Good. Okay. I'm glad to hear. I'm happy to hear that you are great. It's really good. Hello, Patricia. <coughs> good night. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. So, what verbs did you use today for your homework? What verbs have you learned on your homework? <laughs> uh -huh. What new verbs have you learned today? ¿Qué nuevos verbos han aprendido hoy? Okay, that wait, 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 one, just one, one at a time. Wait. <laughs> Michelle, what's your new verb? At least one verb that you learned today. Um, forget. Forget, okay. Forget. Which means olvidar, very good, okay, forget. An example with forget? Um, she forgets her keys in in her house she forgets okay she forgets her keys in her house yes. all the time all the time <laughs> yes good okay patricia a new verb that you learned today begin begin begin, begin. okay begin. give me an example with begin I begin a student English. I begin studying English. Study. I begin to study English today. Today, today. Excellent. That's good. Okay. Jose Angel Pereira, good evening. Good evening, sir. <laughs> okay. Jose Angel, a new verb, a new verb. Um, uh, dance, 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 dance. Okay, give me an example with that verb. Uh, I like to dance in the party of weekend. I like to dance on weekend parties, on weekend parties. Me gusta bailar en fiestas de fin de semana. Okay. Hmm. I like to dance on weekend parties. Weekend parties. It sounds better. Good. Okay. Dance, dance, dance. Mavis, good evening. Good evening. A new verb that you have learned? E okay. Quiero pensar, quiero pensar. Let me think, let me think. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, como answer, como rest, answer, respuesta, answer. responder, me... answer, answer. Answer, uh -huh. Responder. Give me an, an example. Using answer. An example with answer. I answer the exam question. I answer. I, I answer, answer the exam. Exam questions. 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 Answer the exams questions. Perfect. Hello, Glorita. 
Hi. Good evening. How Good are you? Good evening. Oh, uh, so so. Oh, come on. I'm great. Uh, I'm awesome. <laughs> Uh -huh. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm happy. Okay. Exactly. Come on. Okay. Uh, forget. Oh, uh oh. Uh -huh. Ya lo dijo Michi. Uh -huh. Forget. Uh, no, no estaba. Entonces sería uh, cocinar. What do you say cocinar? How do you say cocinar? How do you say cocinar? How do you say cocinar in English, guys? It's cook, cook, cooking. Cook, cooking. Cook, 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 cook. Prohibido el ING en este salón de clase, ¿ok? Prohibido el ING. Okay, no ok, ok. Ok, salvo que me ocupe un verbo antes del ING. Ok, good. Ok. Good, ok, cook. So, how uh, do you use it? I cook uh, uh, very 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 well. What Good. do you say, chile relleno? How do you say? How, how do you say, chile rellenos? rellenos? Okay, anybody? Field peppers? Uh, okay. Field peppers, I will say field peppers. Chile rellenos. Field, F-I-L-L-E-D. Okay, job. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. This is I... Fill peppers. Okay, I field cook. Pepper. I cook fill peppers. Very good. Oh, I cook delicious fill uh, peppers. Very, okay. Repeat. I cook. I cook delicious fill pepper. Peppers. Good. Peppers. Excellent, Rosalena. A new verb. And try hard enough. <laughs> a new verb. Mm. I should have tried harder. I don't. To be your dad, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I don't. They said what? I don't. I don't. Yeah. Oh, to iron. Okay. I don't. Yeah. Try yeah. yeah. to use it. Use it in a sentence. I don't. I don't like. I don't like. Yeah. I don't like. I don't. <laughs> okay. I don't like to iron. Um, okay, I don't, I don't like, like to. to iron. I don't like to iron. What? What do you? What you don't like to iron? Ah, okay. Um, you don't have to. Without it. don't. Um, in general, I don't like. I don't like to iron. Oh, okay. The action. The, the action. <laughs> I don't. The like. action of ironing clothes, <laughs> ironing anything. Yeah. We will. We will see later that. You can say, you have to say, I don't like to iron. You need the preposition between the two verbs, okay? You need the preposition between the two verbs. I, I don't like to like two. to iron. Okay. I like to eat. I like to eat pupusas. Okay. I don't like to eat pupusas. I like to. I like to wash the dishes. I like to wash the dishes. I don't like to wash the dishes. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Okay, before we move on, let's go through this really quick. Turn on your microphone, please. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Here. Excellent. Ana Michelle Guevara Sanchez. Here. Edwin, what? <laughs> Excuse me, here. <laughs> Edwin Rolando Mendes Chicas. It's not here yet. Edwin, Edwin, no. El pan. Okay, Eric Gabriel Salvador Benavides. Here. Excellent. Estela Verali Sigüenza Figueroa. There she is. I saw her. Ya la vi. Okay. Flora Lorena Chavez Campos. Mm, not yet. Okay. Gilberto Eli Mendoza Rosales. I saw him. I saw Gilberto somewhere. Not here yet. Okay. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Jose Angel Pereira Romero. Thank you. I can see you, Carla yeah. Vanessa Garcia de Perez. Carla Vanessa is not here yet. Maybe Sivet Milla Contreras. Here. Thank you. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Osmin, not yet. Okay, Rafael Ernesto Gonzalez Ventura, not yet. Raul Ernesto Campos Gonzalez. Present. Excellent, Raul. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. 
perfect. Okay, Veronica Lisette Sanchez Perez. No. Here. Irma, yeah. Sí, oh my God, sorry, yes. Liz. Ya, um, Vilma sí, 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 solo estoy escuchando ahorita. Perdón. I know. I know. Ok, Vilma y de Sorte Escobar. Yeah. Thank you. Jancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Here. Thank you. Janet Magdalena Morales Gómez. Janet Magdalena. Ok, not yet. Good, guys. That was it. Very simple. I hear two. Estela Verali. Yes. Estela, 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 Estela. Yeah, I can see you. Yeah. Ya la había tomado en cuenta porque la vi ahí. Ok, sí. chicos. Eh, por favor, encendamos la cámara en la medida de lo posible. Ok. Eh, es necesario en especial cuando pasamos la lista ante todo. Ok. Aunque sea por esos minutitos, podemos encender la cámara. Ok. So let's start. Remember. Repeat. How do you say? Ok. El verbo en español. In English. How do you say saltar in English? Okay. How do, how do you teacher. say? Teacher, how do you say disculparse in English? To apologize. English? In English? You say apologize. Ah, apologize. Apologize. I apologize. Okay. So, one time. How do you say el verbo in English? How do you say la palabra in English? Right? How do you say saltar in English? Jump. How do you say uh cuerda in english rope okay jump rope how do you use it how do you use it como lo utilizas estamos viendo el presente simple revisando las terceras personas que es lo que más te puede causar problemas and talking about that let's see really quick so what are the rules how do you modify the verbs how do you modify the verbs on third persons? Okay. So, rule number one, remember? Rule number one, if the verb in its base form, let me write it. If the verb in its base form ends with ch sh o ss x z and that's it okay yeah that's it so if the verb ends in these letters, okay, we just add ES. Okay, we just add ES. For example, a verb with CH, a verb ending on CH. Mm -hmm. Reach. Oh, good. What? Reach. Okay, let's do both. Watch. Watch. Okay, so I add. Yes. Okay. I just add. Yes. Okay. Good. What about SH? A verb ending on SH. Watch. <laughs> Let's put them together. Wait, uh, somebody else said something. Fish? Brush. Brush. Easy. So I add ES, said brushes. Brushes. Wash. Okay. Excellent. W listen, watch, 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 watch. Okay? Wash. Okay. What you have? Wash. And then you add the ES and it says washes. Washes. 
Not the, notice the difference. Watches. She watches TV. She watches TV. Okay. She washes the dishes. She washes the dishes. She washes the dishes. Okay. Let's go with the next one. This is typical, right? She washes the dishes. Yeah. Okay. Verb ending on O. Ending with O. Uh-huh. Come on. Ending on O. A verb ending with O. Go. 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 <laughs> okay. So you say go. Why is it still going on black? There you go. Okay, goes and do. Teacher, but that's the auxiliary. Yes, it's a verb too. Do, and you say does. Goes, does. Okay. A verb ending with double S. Yes. Miss. Yes. I get miss. I miss you. Yes. Okay. And you say misses. Okay. Kiss. Good. Okay. I miss your kisses. I miss your kisses. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. Kiss. And you say kisses. Okay. A verb ending on X, X. Fix. Fix, there you go. Mix, relax. Fix, and you add ES and it sounds fixes. Thank you, relax. Relax, don't do it. Mm -hmm. Relax. Okay, then you say relaxes. This exercise or Teaching relaxes me. Teaching relaxes me. Okay. And last, a verb ending on Z. Really? A verb ending on Z. Buzz. <laughs> Buzz. There you go. Buzz. Okay. The B. What does the B do? What does the B do? What does B do? The B buzzes. Okay. The B buzzes. Roselena, try. Buzzes. 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 <laughs> okay, very good. This is an exercise, chicos. Okay. Any other? Another one ending on Z. Oh, I got one. How do you say congelar in English? Freeze. Say? Freeze. Okay. Freeze. Freeze. Right? Uh, can somebody hold on? Yeah, it's, it ends on E. Mm. Is the rule ending on E2? No, I, I'm wrong. No, okay, no, no phrase. No. <laughs> no, no. No, 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 no. With a Z, a Z. Bazinga. No, buzz, buzz. Oh my God. Another verb ending on bliss. Is bliss a verb? I can't remember right now. But no, we see. Hmm? But no end in C. But it, but it doesn't, but it doesn't end on Z. It doesn't end on Z. Uh -huh. But it doesn't end in Z. in Z. Right. Buzz. I can't remember right now, guys. Freeze. How's your hair? Your hair freezes. No. Now I can remember. Okay. Google it. There are very short very few, there are very few verbs ending on Z. Okay, so that's rule number one, let's move on. Rule number two, does anybody remember? Do you remember? Rule number two? No? Okay, if 
a verb in its base form um, ends in consonant plus y, okay? If the verb ends on a consonant plus y, okay, we, I'm gonna say kill. We kill the y. <laughs> okay, we kill the y. And instead, what is instead? What is instead? En lugar de. En lugar de. Aha, good. And instead, we add, okay, I E S. This is the second row. So, an example. Fly. Excellent. Fly. Oh my God. Okay, wait. You say fly. And I don't have. I don't have. Anyways, you say fly and then you move it to what? Mm -hmm. Fly. Flies. Flies. Yeah. Fly. Hold on. Okay, so instead of fly, you remove the Y and you say flies. So how do you say las moscas vuelan? <laughs> the flies flies. <laughs> no, the flies fly. Uh -huh. How do you say la mosca vuela? The fly flies. There you go. Okay, very good. Another one? Tari? Carry. Caring, caring. Mm -hmm. There you go. Carry, carry. To carry, to carry something or someone. One more, just one more. Cry, cry. Cry, cry. try. That's right. I'm sorry, I'm missing something here, right? Correct me, guys. Okay, cries. And then try try or cry it's the same writing then you say tries okay he tries and tries and tries okay and the third rule is very simple okay for all others just add s Okay, so if I say play, how do you make it third person? Place. Place, that's it. Okay, that's it. Etc. Plays, runs, cooks, stops, stops. Okay, questions? No? I have a question. ¿Cuándo aplica todas estas reglas? ¿Cuándo las aplico? Cuando es tercera persona. He, o sea, he, or it. Sí, pero en negativo y en pregunta también. Ah, en positivo. In positive. All affirmative sentences. Very good. Todas las oraciones afirmativas que yo pueda hacer en he, she, it. Ahí sí. Ok. Good. Okay, that's on your WhatsApp. Let's go. Just for 10 minutes, just for 10 minutes, I'm going to split you in groups. Por favor, necesito que hablen, okay? So challenge your classmate. Espero que hayan hecho la tarea y que hayan investigado por lo menos cinco verbos este y cinco palabras nuevas. Si no, qué aburrido. Agarren su listado, okay? Se va a poner triste tu compañero si no le haces preguntas. Okay, you have 10 minutes starting right now. It's 8.25, let's go. How do you say, how do you say, how do you use it? Let's go, let's go, let's go.
pensar. Hello. Yes. No estoy en esta clase. Teacher, vamos a usar la te, el verbo en, en tercera persona, ¿no? Yep, third person. Third person. Acuérdense que es un reto. Ahorita tírenle la piedra a alguien. José Ángel, dígale. How do you say? Ajá. Ok. Eh, Osmin, how do you say mirar en inglés? En inglés. Sí. Eh, sí. sí. Yeah. Mm. What is the difference in <laughs> look and see? Okay, see, there. there. Okay, look, mirar de reojo uh -huh. algo, eh? Look. Okay. Uh -huh. Watch, mirar fijamente. I watch TV. 1-0. Yeah. 1-0. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's mean. So, watch. Watch, okay. ¿Eso era lo que esperaba, José Ángel? Yeah. Watch, okay. Word. Mira. Okay. A word. Eh, How do you say? Jos, Osmin, how do you say eh, pared in English? Oh, good. In English? Mm -hmm. In English? What? Excuse me. How do you say pared in English? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Wall? You say wall. How do you use it? Wall. Wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do you use it? Interperson. Watch wall. Ooh, no, no, no. Okay. No. Vilma, no, can you can you help us mean Vilma? So watch wall. Faltaría leer el sujeto ahí. In their person. In their person. For example, uh, I can say that the the my, my our teacher wa watch the your watches watches your the wall. How do you pronounce it? A pronunciation pared. Wall. 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 Es una ola. Uh -huh. Wall. Wall. Mm -hmm. So our teacher watches the wall. Our teacher watch watches the wall. The wall. Our teacher wall. watches the wall. Okay. Um, negative. Mm -hmm. Negative. Our teacher doesn't watch watch the wall. Do the question. Do the question so as an example for them. Mm -hmm. Does, Does our teacher watch the work? That's it. Does our teacher the watch the wall? Okay. Si vieron chicos, Osmin, Vilma, entonces sujeto, verbo, complemento. Son tres, tres, tres uh, partículas del positivo. En el negativo van a ser cuatro porque tengo que agregar el don't. Ah, cinco. Tengo que agregar el not y el auxiliar, ¿no? Entonces tengo our teacher sería el sujeto. He, our teacher, doesn't, okay, does not, el verbo, watch the wall. Okay. okay. En la pregunta traigo el auxiliar al principio. Okay. Y digo, does our teacher watch the wall? Serían cuatro objetos. Okay. Does our teacher watch our, the wall? Okay. Yeah. Ese es el punto de este ejercicio. Si tú lo has practicado en la casa, revisando la fórmula ahí de positivo, negativo y pregunta, eso se va a salir fácil y tenés que empezar a hablar. Ok, so practice. Osmin, Vilma, make questions to José. Vilma, ask Osmin. Um, how do you say? Preguntas un verbo. How do you say? Preguntas una palabra. Y por último, how do you use it? Y al que le digan how do you use it, cómo lo utilizas, Tiene que decir positivo, negativo, pregunta, como lo hizo José Ángel, ¿ok? okay. Try it. Try it, guys. Yeah. Come on. No tengan miedo de equivocarse. Para eso estamos ahorita. Let's go.
Okay. No, no, no. <coughs> Ada, ask Estela, please. Le vamos a preguntar a Ada, eh, eh, Estela, es how do you say mm, venir? Hello, Rafael. Mm -hmm. How do you say venir? What's What's in, oh. in, 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 no, in, in, in English? In English? How do you say oh. venir in English? Come. Oh. Okay. What what's the word? ¿Cuál es la palabra? What the word? ¿Cuál es la palabra? Venir. So the the verb is come. So how do you say venir in English? You say come. How do you say hogar in English? Home. Home. How do you use it? ¿Cómo lo utilizas? How do you use it? Y tú tienes que decir positivo, negativo y pregunta. Estamos viendo terceras personas. So he, she, it, ¿ok? Uh -huh. eh, he comes. He comes. Uh, my home. She comes home. Sorry, siempre se me olvida. Tranquila, tranquila. Ok, tenés, son tres partículas de, de la afirmación, ¿no? She, sujeto. She. Comes, el verbo. Como este caso es tercera persona, agregas ese, ¿no? She comes home every day. She comes home every day. She comes home every day. ¿Cuál sería el negativo? Eh, she doesn't come every day. Home. She doesn't come home. She doesn't come home every day. Ella no viene a casa todos los días. Good, okay. Podrías cambiar el she por Patricia, Lisette, right? Um, Stella, right? Ahora, let's make a question. Uh, does she come home every day? Perfect. That's the way, okay? Ask someone, Stella, ask someone, hey, how do you say? Hey, okay. Um, how do you say? Hot break up? Ah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say <laughs> desayunar? <laughs> Le llega, se les olvida el español. Don't worry, it's okay. That's good. Okay. So, Keep okay, going. Um, uh, Hello, teacher. Justo a tiempo. <laughs> right on time. Repeat. Right on time. Right on time. Right on time. Yeah. Necesitamos que nos diga la diferencia. Entre sí, look, look, y watch. Otros. <ríe> ok, guys. Sí, ver. Watch, mirar. Pero mirar fijo, ¿eh? Mirar fijamente, no así, sin cerrar los ojos, no, sino que poner atención cuando miras. Por ejemplo, watch TV. Ok. Watch. Look. Look, mirar de reojo. Ah, okay. Mm. Por eso, okay. do, do you like my look? Ok. Ah, okay. Te obliga a verme de reojo, ¿no? Ok. Uh, y la otra, stare. Stare. Mirar fijamente, sin parpadear. ¿Cómo se escribe? What? <laughs> Así. That's a stare, un ejemplo. Stare. Okay, you write it S T A R E. Stare. 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 Mirar significa fijamente. mirar fijamente. Sí, ajá, como cuando alguien se te queda viendo y ni parpadea y hasta suspira. Dios santo, ¿qué es esto? Okay, stare. Hay, hay otro, hay okay. otro, hay otro. Gaze. 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 ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué significa? 
¿Qué significa? ¿Qué te digo? Cuando ves por la ventana, ¿está lloviendo? Oye, che. You guys. Uh, uh. How do you use it? I guess I gaze at the rain. I gaze at the rain every morning. Contemplar. Es como contemplar, como admirar por ahí. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sí. Ah, sí. Right, mirar contemplando oh. algo así como. Right. Ok. Ok. Okay. Yes. Oh, similares. Very good. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yes, gracias. It's your turn. Okay, so how do you say? Lo que hemos hecho es que cada quien ha dicho su, sus verbos y lo estamos escribiendo, por eso nos encontró calladito. No, it's a challenge. Challenge your <laughs> classmates. Yancy, how do you say invertir in English? Invertir. Ah. Y me apaga la cámara para reírse de mí, pero está bueno. Ajá. <laughs> me ha apagado la cámara. <laughs> si se apagó, oh, okay. lo que haría. Ok, invertir. Uh -huh. Invest. 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 Man, accounting. Invest. Uh -huh. okay. How do you say bolsa de valores in English? Ahora sí voy a apagar la cámara. How do you say bolsa de valores? Aún, ¿no? Stock exchange. Yeah, there you go. Stock exchange. Gracias, Google. Okay, stock exchange. How do you, how do, how do you use it? Jancy, how do you use it? No, teacher. No? My teacher, the English, <laughs> no, no invierte en la bolsa de valores. <laughs> Va, hagamos la positiva. My teacher, uh -huh, invests. How do you say contemplar in English? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh -huh, Jancy. My teacher invests. My teacher invests. Invests in, in the stocks exchange. In the stock exchange. Stock. In the stock chain. Exchange. 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 Stock. Exchange. Stock exchange, stock exchange, stock, stock exchange. exchange. Eso está bueno para practicar, mira, la articulación. Raúl, eh, Raúl, are you okay? Perdimos a Raúl. Ok, stock exchange. <risa> no lo hubiera preguntado. <risa> ¿Por qué cuando le preguntan se, se desconecta o qué? Ok. What's Pregunta. the negative? Ok, le pregunto, Yancy. What's ah. the negative? What's the negative? Eh, my teacher doesn't. No. Doesn't. Es que no lo veo. Doesn't. My teacher doesn't invest in the, the stock, stock exchange. exchange. Question. Ahora pregúntale a Gloria. No, ese es el reto. Tú tienes que hacer positivo, negativo y pregunta. Does my teacher? Ok. Does my teacher invest in this? In the stock exchange? Exchange. 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 Excellent. Ahí, very good. 
Good. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Buena chica. Very good. Uh huh. Now you make the question to Gloria. Whew. Hurry up. Next. 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 <laughs> I, 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 a uh, goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> and where do you practice the soccer? Uh, In any I, I, park? We, we play in, ¿cómo se llama? In a, ¿cómo se llama? How do you say cancha, teacher? Soccer field. Soccer field. I play, I play in, in La Ceiba Guadalupe soccer field. Okay. You can also say court. Court or field. In fact, it's a Somasca soccer field. Mm -hmm. How do you say Mm. Marcar un gol o meter un gol. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or? Score. Score a goal. To score a goal. Okay. Score a goal. Mm -hmm. And he scores. She scores. Okay. Questions? Edwin scores a goal. Edwin scores a goal. Edwin scores a penalty. Very good. There you go. Score a goal. Uh huh. How do you say invertir in English? Oh. Hmm? Invert. To invest? Invest. Ah, how, invest. how do you say bolsa de valores in English? Wall Street. Okay. <laughs> Wall Street. Stock exchange. Bien, ahí tienen el traductor. Good. Stock exchange. How do you use it? Edwin invests, invests in the stock exchange. Okay. Edwin invests in the stock exchange. Edwin doesn't invest Stock exchange. Does, Does Edwin invest in stock exchange? Perfect. There you go. That's the point. Very good, guys. Okay. Let's get going. Let's go back. Questions? Not not yet? Okay. Good. Let's go. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, uh, Carla Vanessa. Good did you see my message? I don't check WhatsApp while I'm working. No check el WhatsApp mientras trabajo, pero yes. Okay. I'm sick, really sick. I'm sorry. I, I can participate. Just, yes. just listen to the class. Who's this? Um, how do you say el albañil construyó el edificio? <laughs> ¿Ah? Eso es pasado. Construye. No, oh, construye. Pues vaya, construye. Uh -huh. El construye el edificio. No, para el cuarto. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how do you say Albañil construye el edificio? The Mason build the edifice? Mm. Or what? Close. Very close. Es más, me recordaste que en Albañil se dice Mason. Can you type it? Type it or spell it, Edwin? M-A-S-O-N. 
Mason, like Marilyn Mason. Mason. Okay, the Mason. Okay. The Mason Bill. Bill. The Bills, no, the Mason. Por qué no dudes, Jerry? Yeah, there you go. The Mason builds the building. The Mason builds the building. De hecho, esa es una cosa que te va a dar dolor de cabeza después cuando veamos el presente continuo y ya puedas decir I am building a building or the Mason is building a building. Building, building. Uno es noun, nombre, el otro es un verbo. Ok. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Hay otra manera de decirlo. Uh, the breaker, breaker, can remember. Break line? Yeah, breaker. The breaker, el albañil. Breaker. ¿Qué viene de brick, right? Brick, ladrillo. Breaker. Okay. Good. What was the most difficult verb you learned today? ¿Cuál fue el verbo más difícil que encontraste ahora que aprendiste? O la palabra. The word. We have doubt about dress uh -huh. or wear. Wear. Good. Okay. What's the difference between dress? Let's do something really quick. And clothes. Dress, wear, and clothes. You mean cloth or clothes? Clothes. <laughs> Okay. But close is not a bear. Uh, no. Okay. So let's clarify that. Let's be clear on that one. So you say dress. Okay. You said wear. Okay. Um, dress is just a noun. Eso solo es el nombre. And you can say a dress. Ah, dress. Okay. To dress a dress, you could say I dress a dress. Hmm. I dress my dolls. Okay. I dress my dolls. In that context, yo visto. So dress is vestir. Wear is usar. Teacher, okay. uh, I, I have heard. I get dressed. Mm -hmm. And that's the action. I get dressed. Ojo, pero está conjugada. O sea, no es el verbo dress. Es el verbo get dressed. Uh -huh. El verbo vestirse. Uh -huh. Get uh -huh. dressed. Y lo van a encontrar en pasado. Participio. I get dressed. Yo I me visto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wear dresses. Oui. I wear she wears dresses. Okay. She wears dresses. Okay. Good. But I have a doubt. We have a doubt because uh -huh. we are we are talking about the movie uh, The Devil Wears Prada. Oh my god, great movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we have the dog wear. It's a bird. But Okay, el diablo usa Prada. Ajá. Pero lo traducen el diablo viste. El Ajá, diablo viste, viste a la viste de moda. De la moda. Ajá. Es las traducciones de las películas, sí. de las películas al español. Sí, yo por eso hay hate. A ver, hate. sin embargo, en este ejemplo se podría aplicar mucho la, la, la percepción, ¿no? Porque ¿Cómo tú percibes esto? Devil wears Prada. ¿Y qué tiene que visto una Prada el diablo? O sea, el... ¿Por qué? Ah, porque Prada es a la moda. O sea, es... So, el diablo viste la moda. Mm, it makes sense. Ok. The pursuit of happiness. En busca de la felicidad. También pega un poco. The pursuit of happiness. La búsqueda de la felicidad. La casa. Okay. So that, that makes sense. Okay. Um, there was a doubt. Había una duda por ahí. Uh, what's the difference between C? Okay. What's the other one? Watch. Look. Stare. Gaze. That's it. 
Okay. So you have, you have ver, okay. Mirar, mm -hmm. concentradamente, uh, solo mm -hmm. concentración, digamos. Con concentración. Eh. Mirar, okay, then you have look, mirar de reojo. Okay. Sin concentrarse, look. Stare, mirar fijamente. Mirar fijo. Okay. And gaze, que es contemplar. Si me ayudan ahí con el traductor, contemplar. Gaze. That's when you gaze with wonder. Contemplas. Ves con... No sé. Con gaze, the sunset. No. Ah, perfect. With feelings. It's a feeling. You see with feeling. You watch something okay. with feeling. That's right. Mm -hmm. There are synonyms. A lot of synonyms. Look for them. Look for synonyms. Okay, there's a synonym for jump that sure. I didn't know, and it's hoop. Uh huh. Eh, una pregunta. When the people say my look, what is? Oh, do you like my look? Yeah. Do you like the way I look? Te gusta cómo me miro? Ah. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, you appealing. like my look? Appealing. Am I appealing? That's a good word, a good verb as well. Appeal. 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 Gustar. Como llamar la atención. Okay. That's appealing. Okay. Do you appeal dessert? Okay. Gustas. Postre, you peel dessert. Okay, let's go. So I hope you enjoyed that exercise. Before we move on and to this, continuar con el siguiente ejercicio. Let's do this really quick. Again, please turn on your microphone. Encienda el micrófono. One, two, three. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Here. Ana Michelle Guevara Sanchez. Here. Edwin Rolando Mendez Chicas. Here. Thank you. Eric Gabriel Salvador Benavides. Here. Thank you. Estela Verali Sigüenza Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Flora Lorena Chavez Campos. Mm, not here. Okay. Gilberto Eli Mendoza Rosales. Yes. Gilberto. Chicos, enciendan sus cámaras y en este momento, eh, cuando estamos listas nada más. Ahí está Gilberto. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. José Ángel Pereira Romero. Here. Thank you. Carla Vanessa García de Pérez. Here. Thank you. Maybe Sibet Milla Contreras. Here. Excellent. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Here. Excellent. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Here. Excellent. Raúl Ernesto Campos González. Present teacher. Perfect. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Thank you. Veronica Lisset Sánchez Pérez. No? Yes, because I estaba todavía trabajando. Okay. Vilma de Sorto Escobar. Present. Thank you. Jancy Lisbeth Hernandez Mejia. Here. Thank you. Janet Magdalena Morales Gomez. No. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. Let's continue. Now we have a role play, but let's do it together. Vamos a hacer juntos esto porque se aburren después de estarse dividiendo. Y... Right. So we have a conversation again. Hey, how many days a week do you work? How many days a week do you work? Thank you, Gilberto. Mm -hmm. Five days in a week. Five days a week? Yes. Eight days a week. <laughs> I love you. Uh-huh, eight days a week, five days a week. 
I work seven days a week. I work seven days a week. Seven days. Seven days. Oh my God. Good, Rosalina. That's right, Rosalina. Seven days. Uh huh. Yeah. What about what about you, Jose Angel? How many days a week do you work? How do you say cinco y medio? Five and a half. Five and a half. Five and a half. And a half. And a half. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Me acuerdo de Ricardo, no sé qué, que salió en las noticias, ¿se acuerdan? And a half. <laughs> Five and a half. Five and a half. Good point. New word. Thank you, Jose Angel. Nos ayudaste ahora. Five and a half. Very good. Me too. I work seven days and a half. Okay. And the worst. New word. The worst. The worst is Saturday for me because I work from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Seven a.m. to 10 p.m. Non-stop. You can say non-stop. Okay. Non-stop, my God. <laughs> yeah, on Saturday I work 7 a.m. from 7 a.m to 10 p.m. non-stop. Non-stop. Stop. I teach from I teach from 7 a.m. to 12 15 12 30 p.m. and then I work from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. Saturdays. So it's how many, how many hours? I don't know like let's say 12 12 hours non-stop. 12 hours in a row. 12 hours in a row. Repeat, 12 hours in a row. 12 hours in a row. 12 hours in a row. How many hours, how many hours do you do a day? How many hours do you do a day? Michelle? I do eight hours. In, in a, a row? In a row. In a row. Eight hours in a row. Okay. I said a day, right? So how many hours do you work per day? A day, remember? How many hours do you work per day? Edwin, how many hours do you work per day? It's supposed eight hours. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be eight hours. But sometimes I, I work 12. 12. Yes. What? Okay. And how many hours do you rest a day? How many hours do you rest a day? Maybe. Wait. Two hours? How many hours do you rest a day? Rest and How many hours do you rest? Oh, rest. When it's time to sleep. <laughs> just when I sleep. Hey, good. Listen. Uh -huh. Just when uh -huh. I sleep. Just when, when I sleep. I Repeat. Sleep. Just when I sleep. Just when I sleep. Just when I sleep. When I sleep. Just, just, just. So again, let's repeat. Five and a half. Five and, and a half. half. Or let's Five leave this. And a half. And a half. 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 And a half. 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 Okay. Half. Repeat. Half. The worst. The worst. The worst. The worst. The worst. The worst. El peor, the worst. The worst. The worst. Non-stop. 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 Yes, don't say don't non-stop. No, non-stop. 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 Okay. Here. 
In a row. In a row. In a row. One more. In a row. Straight. Straight. I work eight hours eight. straight. Eight hours straight. De corrido. De corrido. Very good. Mm -hmm. Just In when I sleep. Just, just. Just when I sleep. When I sleep. Yes, just Jose. When I sleep. Uh, 724 is similar non-stop. Come again. 724. 724. Oh, it's the opposite. 24 7. 24 7. Yeah, that's another one. Yeah, good. I work 24 7. I work 24 7. También en americano se oye. And I work 24 7. Just when. 24 7 is is equal like non-stop yeah. yeah ese es el punto chicos les estoy dando sinónimos para decir la misma cosa sin parar non-stop in a row continuo straight directo continuo 24 7 todos entendemos que 24 7 es 24 horas los 7 días del, de la semana right ok just when I sleep. So, just when I sleep is solo cuando duermo, I rest, right? I rest just when I sleep. I don't work just when I sleep. Okay. So, again, how many days, right? This is plural. How many days? How many hours? Plurals? Plurals? How many years? How many years? Years. Years. What can I ask? How many years? Do you live in San Miguel? Okay. <laughs> Ahí le tendría que aplicar el presente perfecto. ¿Cuántos años has vivido en San Miguel? Uh, how, how many years have been? See, then I guess how many years do you have working here? How many okay. years do you have living? Living here. Oh, okay. How many years do you have to live in San Miguel? No. How many years do you have living? Tengo que agregar el ING ahí, okay. So, el punto es, how many plurals? Okay, how many plurals? Don't forget. How much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? How much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? Let me see, Raul, Raul, Raul doesn't speak. Raul needs to speak. Hello, Raul. Where is Raul? Hello, Raul. Raul, come on, turn on your microphone. I like making voices, by the way. Me encanta hacer voces. Con mis hijos es como una, como un juego. Pero al final yo lo hago porque me gusta ejercitar mi garganta. So I try to make many voices every day. Okay. Oh, Raúl, turn on your microphone. Where are you? Raúl, oh my God. He got disconnected. Raúl. Raúl se desconectó. Yes. He ran away. Oh, <laughs> very <Barney> good. Away. <laughs> Barney. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I don't like talking like Barney. Is that it's too difficult? <laughs> okay. Let's continue. Come on, Rafa. Lo, va, lo van a contratar para doblaje. No, es que mira, y por eso es que no me costó aprender a pronunciar en inglés, porque me encanta imitar a las personas también, o sea, las las um, articulaciones cómo actúan y por eso acá entre nos el trabajo que tenía de gerente fue bueno porque fue el que más despidió personal <risa> porque adapté la manera de despedir de mi jefe así una vez me lo enseñó y me dijo pon atención me enfócate voy a despedirme me despidió y se me quedó en la cabeza so, me programé Man, pero no te puedes tardar más de dos minutos, no tenés que tener nada en el escritorio. ¿eh? Ok, ya sabes por qué. Y ir directo al punto. Suena cruel, pero 
si alguien no te está, no puedes invertir tu tiempo y tus recursos en alguien que ya le dice tres intentos y no. Right? Porque al final él te va a estar generando un problema peor para la empresa. So, esa era la filosofía y it works. Anyways, qué feo, ¿verdad? Que era el teacher que despedía gente. Qué cruel. Hey, a job is a job. Un trabajo es un trabajo. A job is a job. Don't forget that. So, come on. Rafa, how much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? How much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? It depends on the task. Um, it depends on the task. I, I, us I usually need one hour for task. Mm -hmm, perfect. Let's repeat. It's... It's... Up to the task. Up to the task. It's up to the task. Depende del. What is task? Depende de la tarea. Tarea, tarea. It's up to the task. It depends on the task. Um, good job. It's. He he never end the task. <laughs> <laughs> he never ends he never ends his tasks his tasks tasks hey tasks how my, difficult my boss think that I am Superman okay good that's good hey it depends on how difficult the task is You got it? It depends on how difficult the task is. Esto sería como lo más natural que podrías contestar. Okay. How much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? It depends on how difficult the task is. Okay. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Listen, it takes me one or two hours Per task. Ok. Bien, quiero saber. ¿Quién no está entendiendo lo que dice acá? Be honest, por favor. A veces le voy a hacer esto, ¿eh? Sean honestos y no tengan pena de decirme, no, teacher, me perdió ahí, sí me quedé. Come on. Me perdió, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Gloria, no, ¿quién? Ok. Patricia. Patricia, ok. Good. Be honest. Bien, dijimos it depends. Si ¿sí se entiende, ¿no, Patricia? Depende. Sí. Ok. On how difficult. How. Juan, ¿Cuánto, right? Entonces, on how difficult the task is. ¿En qué tan difícil? How difficult. How difficult. The task is. ¿Qué tan difícil eh, la tarea sea? Ok. Sometimes, no hemos visto esto y es el, uno de los siguientes temas en la siguiente unidad. Uh, frequency adverbs, adverbios de frecuencia. A veces. Ok. ¿Me ayuda, Patricia? It takes. Mm, it no, I don't. Takes. Tomar. Ajá. Toma. One or two hours. Per task. One or two hours per task. Patricia? One or two. Una o dos horas. Per task. Por? Or. Tarea. Tarea. Por tarea. Right. A ver, ¿todos habían entendido eso, más o menos? Right? Yes. Okay. Good, good, good. Perdón, chicos, me emociono mucho. Voy muy rápido o no sé, porfa, hablen ahora o okay, para hacer. No mentiras. En serio, díganme si estoy muy emocionado y, y les estoy dando mucho vocabulario. Si la carga de información es mucha, le bajo. Seguimos. 
La frase, okay. ¡Paramos! La, la frase de arriba es que eh, era lo mismo que está en lo primero, teacher. Excellent, Eric. Yes. It depends on the task. Depende de la tarea. It's up to the task. Depende de la tarea. Ok. Ahí en eso sí me había quedado. Sí. Eh, ahora bien, yo te puedo decir, it's up to you. Y esa es una frase americana. It's up to you. It's up to you. Depende de ti. You want to learn English? It's up to you. It's up to you. Do your homework. Do your homework. It's up to you. Okay. Depende de ti. Very good. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Eric. Thank you for asking. Okay. Let's talk about financial information um, and work perks. What are perks? Perks. What are perks? Rafael Ernesto, Jose Angel, and Yancy, and I think Eric Salvador too. Your perks. Beneficios. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, you have you have the same perks. You have the same perks at Univo, right? Do you? No, Jose, Yancy. I don't know. You don't know? You don't have yes. the same perks, the same benefits. Thank you, the same benefits. So let's see. What are the benefits? What are the perks at your job? What are the benefits at your job? Mm-hmm. Security of life. Vacations. How many days per year do you have at your job? Eric, Jancy, Jose, Angel, Rafael. I have all, all vacations. I have all vacations. Yo tengo todas las vacaciones. Uh -huh. okay. All holidays? Holidays. Holiday. Okay, I have all holidays. All holidays for vacation. Repeat, I have all holidays. I have all holidays. Holidays for vacation. For vacation. I have all holidays for vacations. Okay, perfect. Tengo todos los días feriados por vacación. Perfect. What about the yearly vacation the 15 days per law 15 days per law per law what about the 15 days per law no nope. me entienden eso yeah. okay bien desde yes. este momento desde este momento estoy hablando mucho yo eh Desde ese momento, si no entiendes algo, ya sabes cómo preguntarme, teacher, ¿cómo, qué, ¿qué quiere decir eso? How do you say qué quiere decir eso en English? Uh -huh. What does it mean? How do you say? How what do you say mean? what's the meaning of? Y esto fue la primera clase en básico uno, señores. What's the meaning of? Teacher. What's the meaning of per law? Oui, teacher, what's the meaning of per law? The ley, lo que se dice ley por ley. Los 15 días por ley. Por ley. Por ley. Yeah. By law, per law. Okay. Got it? So no more Spanish. Let's try. Let's continue. Listen to your teacher. Read the conversation. Then practice with a partner. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey Ben, well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work 
four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. One more time. But this time, I'm going to have Rosa Elena helping. One, two, three. Jeff, how are help? you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hi, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much to there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Perfect. Good, Rosalina. Thank you. Okay, guys. Do you think you can make it? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Excellent. Okay. That's the attitude. So let's practice, okay? Really quick. One is A, one is B. Questions? Sure. Hey. What is the difference in be between per and for in this case? I'm sorry, perk? Per, per. Oh, pair. Pair. Like pair. Uh huh. No, pair. Por, por. Oh, por pair. Uh huh. And for, you know, you know, for. Oh, I think I explained that before. Four, they're both. Okay. Pair, you can only use it comparing. Pair solo se puede ocupar comparando. Eh, decir, de, diciendo cantidades, perdón, diciendo cantidades. Per day, per year, per hour. Okay, cantidades. Por día especificando ese, ese, en ese contexto, José Ángel, se lo explicaba a Michelle, por día, por, ya, especificando cuánto. En cambio, for se ocupa para decir para, <ríe> for you, ¿ok? For you, for him, for two hours, por dos horas, también se puede, for two hours, por dos horas, ¿ok? For two years. Pero no puedo decir for year. Oye, for year. No sonaría por año, sino para año. Si voy a ocupar for, tengo que ocupar un número que cuantifique y eh, luego el nombre. For three dollars. For three dollars. Por tres dólares. Y no puedo decir per three dollars. ¿Ya? Hay que hacer ejemplos para entender eso, ¿ok? Got it? José Ángel, no sé si lo dejé más perdido de lo que estaba. Yes. Yes. I got, I got, I got, you got it? You got, got it? Yeah. Excellent. Ok. Bien. Mm. ¿Saben qué? Les voy a, yo me comprometo con ustedes a dejarles más claro ese tema. ¿Les parece? Yes. yes. Ok. Déjame parquearlo, por favor. Denme un segundo desde que lo divida. Yes. Let's park this difference between per and for. Un poco más explicado, una presentación corta tal vez, ¿ok? Y quiero explicarles también la diferencia entre no, not, and nor. Nadie me ha preguntado. No, not, nor. Hay tres maneras de negar, ¿ok? Good. But let's move on. Ya lo parqué. 
So there's on your chat, the little conversation. Let's work together. Please make sure you talk. Let's go. Nancy and Dilma, listen. I'm Dilma. Hi, your teacher. Yo, Ben, y usted. Ah, uh, y el diálogo, ¿dónde está? Ahorita ando buscando el libro. ¿En el libro está, verdad? Sí, ya tengo el libro. It's in your WhatsApp group. Oh, no, wait. Sí, se me desconectó el teléfono del Inter. And there you go. And I sent to WhatsApp. Sorry. Can I look at the photo? The Okay. Vilma and Jancy. Inicia, Vilma. Voy a iniciar entonces con Jet. Yo creo que así se dice, Jet. Jet, how are you doing? What to schedule? How many days a weekend do you work? Hey Ben, well, I work five days a week, and you? That's a great hour for week, weekday and um, sometime on Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work as hour? And how much many do they pay for its extra hour? Yes, for extra, extra hour when there is too much work to do it. Extra hour is our $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Next. Jancy, ahora... Ahora... Eres Ben. ¿Cómo se dice el nombre? Jeff. 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 And Ben. Jeff. 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 How are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey Ben. Well, I work five days a week. Five five days five days a week. And you? That's great. I work for with day and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? How much money to the Como la pronuncia? Great. 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 That's great. Okay. That that great I work for weekdays on Sunday. And sometimes Saturday. Okay. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hours? Yes. I work extra hours when there is too much more to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. 
I see. Okay. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. 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 <laughs> okay. okay, so you say absolutely. 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 Uh -huh. Absolutely. Os, os mine, recomiendo que vean los videos después. Eh, cuando tenga un chance, métase a ver los videos y cuando nos toque, por ejemplo, en este ejemplo, de leer, leer un, un texto, vea cómo yo pronuncio la, la articulación ¿no? de las palabras una okay. y otra y otra vez hasta que logre repetir igual, así todo, ¿no? Es lo importante. Yeah. Ver okay, cómo gracias. se pronuncia cada palabra. Out, en este caso, absolutely. Absolutely. Perfect. Absolutely. Y por eso se lo digo, porque rápido agarra el feedback. Dice, el, el, el rápido pronuncia. Uh -huh. so, yeah. Y eso es toda la clave en inglés. Repetir, repetir, repetir. Okay. Okay. Good job. Do it again. It's one more Gloria. time. Gloria. How are you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. Oh, I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, ahora voy yo. Okay. Lengua. <laughs> Jeff, how That's are you started. going? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Sometimes there's not, there's not there's not much time, right? That's Sometimes not there's time. not much time, right? There's not much time, right? Sometimes there's not much time. There's not much time, right? Mm -hmm. You got there's it. Not much time. Uh, Stella, repeat. Ask. Lo opuesto. Se le ocurrir que decimos ax. Ax, porque nos enfocamos Ajá. en querer pronunciar la K como suena, la pronunciamos antes, entonces es ask. Ask. Perfect, ask. Una vez más, ask. ask. Eh, va, para que no te falle, acuérdate de la palabra asco, pero no digas la O, ask. Ask. There you go, ask. Very good. Ok, let's go. Richard, hora, como, how Ow. is our hour? Hour. 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 Así como hour de nosotros, de nuestro. Hour. 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 Very good. Hour. Okay. Thank you. Let's go. Teacher. Hey. We have a question. Question. Uh, question. 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 We have question. a question. Mm -hmm. We have a question. Uh, sometimes uh, in the uh, in the movies they say uh, instead of ten dollars, ten bucks. Mm -hmm. How do you? Why do they say, why do they say buck? 
instead of dollars. Instead of dollars. Instead of dollars. Okay. Bill names. Uh, so bill names. This is a book. A book. 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 A book. Let me think. A penny. Uh -huh. uh, a nickel. I can't remember if there is a C here or is a Q. I think that's the way nickel. Google it. Okay, nickel. A nickel. Uh -huh. Ah, this is not silver. This is a 10. This is a dime. A dime, thank you, a dime, and so on. A quarter, mm, no, they don't say a quarter. Yeah, well, they say a quarter. Yeah, you don't say a quarter, guys, it's quarter. Quarter, quarter, a quarter, a quarter, a quarter, a quarter, a dime, a nickel, a penny. And if they ask for a bill, mm -hmm. uh, that's a dollar too. Oh. Do you have a bill? Do you have a bill? Teacher, pero es la la pregunta como enfocada, por ejemplo. Porque eh, dicen a buck y no ajá, por, por ejemplo, ajá, no, por ejemplo, yo me pregunta cuánto te costó el teléfono. Yo digo 200 bucks. Bucks, 200. Oh. Dólares. Pluralizas. No de manera profesional, ¿eh? Esto Ajá. es. Se le puede llamar caliche, pero es más folclore. Yes, but it's not box. B O X. It's B U C K. Ajá. Sí, así, así lo he escrito. <ríe> B U C K. B U C K. Eric, que... Ajá, ah, sí, sí, era box, o sea, ah, no de caja. Ajá. Ajá. Right, B O X, no, box. Pero la pronunciación está ahí en box. Box. Oh, box. Oh, a box. Okay. Right, a box. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter, shirt, a bill. There's Teacher. a lot. What? Teacher. Mm -hmm. In this case, uh, one dollar bill. Un dólar en billete, one dollar coin, si fuese una moneda de dólar. Ajá, a bill. Pero es que un billete. A bill. A grant. Eh, fíjate que aquí tengo dudas, te voy a ser bien honesto. Grant era un presidente de los Estados Unidos. Oh. Y siempre me, no, nunca he investigado, pero yo también he escuchado eso que dicen a grant. Too grand, uh -huh. too grand. Entonces uh -huh. tengo mi duda si es too grand o too grand por el presidente porque, que sale. Porque en la traducción dicen 10 grandes. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí, sí, pues es grand, grand, too grand. Ok, 2000, too grand. Wow. Yeah, that's, eso es como cultura general, digamos, del folclore, ¿no? Como hablan ellos. Ok. Good. Questions about lecturing, about the role play. Any other question? By the way, keep an eye on this. You say Saturday. Saturday. You don't say Saturday. You say Saturday. 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 Be careful, you don't say money, you say money. Man, money. 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 Yeah. Money. No money. Don't say money. Okay. Money. 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 Show me okay. the money. Let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about money. Simply red. Okay. Simply red. Talking about money. Okay. Simply red. Um <laughs> okay, pero me decía Rafa. Hours. 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 How many hours. hours. How many hours? hours? How many hours? Perfect. Chair. Hey. Teacher, is, is too much or so much? Too much. Okay. 
I like you so much. Me gustas tanto. I like you too much. Me gusta too demasiado. Much. Too much. Too much. Demasiado. So, tanto. Tan. Uh -huh. I like you so much. Me gustas tanto. Ok. I hate you so much. Te odio tanto. Ok. I hate you too much. Te odio demasiado. Ok. Sorry. En too, este caso es so, so much, so much work. Or... No, it's too much. Too work. much, too much too work much to do. There is too much work to do. Too Demasiado. Much. Right. Too much. Esto se llaman aumentativos. Okay. Too much. So, well, there's not much time. Not much. Okay. No hay mucho tiempo. Y aquí se, estrictamente se traduce como mucho esto, ¿ok? Ya no es cuánto o cuántos. Repito, ya no es cuánto o cuántos. ¿Ok? So, how many? Oh, what is the right thing? How much hours a day do you work? Or how many hours a day do you work? How much? How many? Yes. Sure. Yes, how many? Yes. How many? How many hours? Okay, how many hours a day do you work? Raul, what is the right answer? Raul, how much do they pay per hour or how many do they pay for hour per hour? How many? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many do they? Sería how much. How much. Porque how estoy much. hablando, ¿de qué estoy hablando, Raúl? Estoy hablando de... Money. Pay, money. How much do they pay? How ¿Cuánto? much do they pay? Bien, quiero que se enfoquen en esto. How many es cuántos. Por ende, debe ir un plural. ¿Ok? Si voy a ocupar how many, entonces el objeto va a estar en plural. Se lo digo por sus exámenes, sus ejercicios in this, en la plataforma. In this case, hours. In this case, in this example, you have hours. Hours, hours. How many hours está en plural. How much do they pay? Estoy hablando de la acción de pagar, ¿ok? So, how many for countable nouns? Like hours, days, weeks, years. How many days a week do you rest? How many hours a day do you work? How much for uncountable nouns? Like money, time, etc. 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 How much money do they pay per extra hour? Okay. How much time do we have? How much time do we have in the class right now? How much time do we have? 20 minutes. We have 20 minutes. Okay, good. Hey, how much time do we have left? Diferente, eh? Preguntar, how much time do we have? ¿Cuánto tiempo tenemos? How much time do we have left? ¿Cuánto tiempo nos queda? Una palabra te puede cambiar el contexto de la, de la pregunta, okay? How much time do we have? How much time do we have left? Mm -hmm. Got it? Got it. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. It's your turn. It's your turn. Read the sentences and fill in the blanks with many or much. So do this in your notebooks. Please go to your notebooks and start answering these little questions. So use how much or how many? One, two, three, you have five minutes, go.
Are you ready? Yes. Oh, okay. Number one. Mm, Jose Angel Pereira. Much. How much? How much money is in a bank? Is in a bank. How much money is in a bank? Hmm. Good. Number two, maybe. Uh, how many? No. How many paper? No. Does no. Oh. <laughs> how much paper? Right, guys. What do you think? How much paper? Can Can you count the paper? Much. Paper. Paper. Can you count? Can you count the paper? One paper, two papers, three papers, four papers. What about what about a paper rim? A paper rim. A paper rim? Una resma de papel. Paper rim. Okay. Entonces sí. One paper rim, two paper rims, three paper rims. Got it? So, aquí las, uh, la clave es singular o plural. Singular o plural. Singular. Okay. That's it's the singular. Point. It is singular, paper. Good. So, how much? Los singulares en estas preguntas son incontables. No los puedes contabilizar. Okay, good. Let's take a look. Next. Uh, Raúl, please. I want to make sure you got, you got it. How many or how much? Number three. How many? Yes. How many or Okay. Excellent. Does it work? It works. Okay. How many hours? How many hours? Hours. Oh, oh, sorry. How many hours a day does he work? How many hours a day does he work? Very good. You got it. Uh, let's go with Gilberto. Gilberto is very quiet. Information is on the internet. How much or how many? How much? Gilberto? Eli? Oh, sorry. Uh, how much? How much? Yes. How much? Because information is uncountable. Good. How much information is on the internet? Let's go with the next one. Days a week do you rest? Uh, Rafa. 
How many days a week do you rest? Uh, I'm sorry. How many days? How many days a week do you rest? Eh, ojo que en la plataforma es igual, ¿no? Empezás con una mayúscula y solo vas a escribir lo que te están pidiendo. Si ya está days acá, no puedes repetir la palabra days, right? Pero te lo voy a marcar como incorrecto. And next, number six, let's go with uh, Osmin. Osmin. Yeah, yes. How many? Number six, how many? And how many employees does how your many? company have? Okay, how many employees does your company have? have? Perfect. How many employees does your company have? How Perfect. Many? Employer. Yeah. Employees. Así, is. Employees. Como le dice lo de years también. Yes. How many employees? Yes. Employees. Very good. Okay, questions. Is this clear? Is this clear? Clear? Yes. Clear? Yes. yes. Okay. Let's go. Uh-huh. You won. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Uh, let's jump this exercise, right? You can do this later, okay? Write a six-line paragraph about the events and activities you and one co-worker doing your company activities that you do okay let's continue we have to learn how to use the simple present negative statements lo que estábamos haciendo al principio okay she does not work on weekends they do not have much time so remember you have a subject the auxiliary of that subject so if it says maria does, Marcos, does, not, Juan, Pedro, and Pablo, I mean, Juan and Pablo, they, right, they, do not, be careful, we, do not, so if I say, um, Ana Michelle, Edwin, Ana Patricia, and me, what is the subject? We, 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 perfect. Okay. Keep an eye on that. Okay, so let's make negative statements, whichever you prefer, third person or, or plurals, we, you, they, whatever you want to say. Okay, negative statements. Michelle, what is your favorite color? Pink. Pink. Okay, Gilberto, give me a negative sentence. No, no, no. Just make it up. Make it we up. Don't, uh -huh. We don't do the homework. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Right. <laughs> Good, guys. Make it up. Remember, invent it, okay? We don't do the homework. We don't do the homework, okay? What's your favorite color, Gilberto? Black. Black. Okay. That's a reboot because they're Nike. Oh, Nike. Oh, yeah. There's nobody with black, so I'm going to choose Vilma and De. Vilma. Hello, Vilma and De. Hello. Give me a negative sentence. Mm -hmm. Negative statements. Look at the examples. Look at the examples. Can you make a negative sentence? He doesn't mm -hmm. um, know what's 
color blue. He doesn't like the color blue? No like. Okay, he doesn't like the color blue, okay. He doesn't like the color blue. That's good, very good. What's your favorite color? Vilma, what is your favorite color? Black. Again, black, okay. Let's go with Carla Vanessa. She's too quiet. I'm here. Okay, Carla Vanessa, give me a negative sentence. I can see. Oh. Oh. Any? Just any, uh huh. Any negative sentence. Okay. Um, my partner not eat today. My partner doesn't? It doesn't, sorry. Okay, my partner doesn't eat today. Yeah. My partner doesn't eat today. Yeah, he or she, right? My partner doesn't eat today. Okay, thank you. Jancy. Yes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Give me a negative sentence. Negative. Hey, my Xbox doesn't like sweets. My ex boss doesn't like sweets. Okay, that's good. What about my former? You can also say my former boss. Okay, not just my ex boss. <laughs> yeah, my former boss, my ex boss. It's the same, it's the same thing. Okay, my former boss. My previous boss, my former boss, my ex boss. Estela Verali, let's close with Estela Verali. How do you say, ya no te amo más? Ya no te necesito más. Ya no te necesito más. I don't need you anymore. I don't need you anymore. Good, Stella, great job. Who was? She was Okay, Estela, give me a negative sentence. How do you say, yo no como pupusas? I, I don't eat pupusas. I don't eat pupusas. Oh, now, listen, guys, escuchen bien, por favor. Necesito que empiecen a imitarme en este sentido, en la pronunciación, eh. Dejen de decir, I don't, I don't, I don't. Vamos a decir, ¿cómo es? I don't. I don't. I don't eat pupusas. There you go. I don't eat pupusas. I don't eat pupusas. I don't eat pupusas. I don't eat pupusas. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't like it. I don't like it. Repeat. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind. Don't worry. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Don't worry. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Got it? And so on. Mañana necesito que practiquen oh, esto de las negativas porque vamos a hacer una dinámica ocupando solo negativas, pero en preguntas. Okay. Ah, se me dio. Negativo. Te moriste. Ok. Good, guys. Let's close um, taking the attendance one more time. If you don't have any questions, any questions before we leave? No. No. Hoy sí les voy a pedir que me esperen. No se vayan a marchar. Ok. Good. Wait for me. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Here. Thank you. Edwin Rolando Méndez Chicas. Here. Thank you. Eric Gabriel Salvador Benavides. Está bien callado, eh? Eric. Uh, where is Eric? No, Eric. Ok. Good. Stella Varali Siguenza Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Flora Lorena Chavez Campos. She didn't make it today. Gilberto Eli Mendoza Rosales. Here. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Jose Angel Pereira Romero. Here. Carla Vanessa Garcia de Perez. Here. Thank you. Mavis Yvette Milla Contreras. 
Here. Thank you. Osmin Baires Solorzano. Uh, here. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Here. Thank you. Raúl Ernesto Campos González. Here. Excellent. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Thank you. Veronica Lisette Sánchez Pérez. Por ahí estaba. Ok. Vilma Aide Sorto Escobar. Yes. Thank you. Jancy Lisette. Miss Beth, I'm sorry. Hernández Mejía. Here. Janet Magdalena Morales Gómez. No se nos unió hoy, Janet. Bien, chicos. Eh, mañana es nuestro fin de primera semana. Y ya tendremos que haber manejado el verbo, perdón, el presente simple, present simple. Necesito eso, que hagan preguntas en negativo, aunque las hagan en español. Quiero que encuentren la manera y que se adapten a la idea de que mañana al venir a la clase vamos a hacer muchas preguntas en negativo. ¿No creen que es una buena idea? ¿No les parece sí. bien? Sí. ¿No les Very gustaría nice. comer helado? Sí, quiero. ¿No te gustaría like hablar inglés? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Esas son el tipo de preguntas. Quiero que aterrices eso, ¿no? <ríe> en, en tu propio idioma. En number two, entramos a una nueva etapa eh, donde ya no puedo hablar mucho inglés, mucho español, perdón. Ok, mucho español, ustedes tienen que hablar. Entonces, ¿cómo vamos a hacer esto? Mañana vamos a tener nuestra primera pushing session. Es una pushing that? session. How do you eat that? ¿Cómo se come? Mm -hmm. yeah. Ajá. Pues se tratará de hablar, 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 hablar hasta que te duela la lengua y te voy a enseñar cómo darle feedback positivamente a una persona, a un empleado, ok, en este caso a tus compañeros de clase. Eso te va a servir para la vida, pero lo tenemos que adaptar, agarrarle el ritmo a esto y el sabor de que todos los días, por lo menos una vez durante la clase, estemos presionando a uno, dos o tres de ustedes a que pasen al frente y que hablen por lo menos un minuto. Un estudiante de básico en mis clases tiene que hablar por lo menos y decir ocho oraciones en por lo menos un minuto. Por lo menos un minuto. Debería ser 30 segundos según el estudio, ¿eh? pero digamos que es un minuto, ¿ok? Tienes que decir ocho oraciones de corrido, usando conectores ya, en presente simple. Un minuto, ocho oraciones. Nivel intermedio, ya en, en el segundo estudio, 45 segundos, 10 oraciones a 12 oraciones. En un minuto, alguien de avanzado tiene que hablar por lo menos de 12 a 20 oraciones en un minuto. Alguien de avanzado. Ok, so you can do it. Vamos a llegar a ese nivel y lo voy a presionar para que lleguemos a ese nivel. Ok, do we all agree or no? Yes, I do. Ok, good. So I'll see you tomorrow. Please take care. Okay. Good night. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. 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 Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.